What's up, guys? It's your boy, the man in black. Yes, Mr. James C. Love it. The bad wolf. All right. So this particular video is going to be talking about the United Nations. OK, now, as some of you guys know, some of you may not know, the United Nations is essentially almost in every country, every nation around the world. So we won't particularly go into who controls it and all of that, though New York is considered to be the UN's headquarters, but uh, we'll leave that in from stuff alone for right now. All right, so, but the key fact here is that when one claims, I want to say this correctly, anyone around the world can claim the protections of the United Nations under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Okay, so this is their list of things like uh, 20 or 30 some odd fundamental rights that everybody has around the world or should have. And they're saying if you, you, are, you have the ability to be party to their jurisdiction. Once again, it's always about jurisdiction. So, okay, so this is on uh, un.org, okay? And you can just type in Universal Declaration of Human Rights if you wanna follow along for those playing the home game. Um, but before we get started, I wanna thank everybody for watching the videos. Don't forget to hit that bell like subscribe. And well, let's, let's get going. All right, so this jumps off uh, from Paris, the 10th of 1948, okay? General Assembly Resolution 217A, all right? So, whereas the recognition of the inherent dignity and the equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. So it kind of makes you wonder, yeah, if somebody was grown in a lab, if they have access to human rights. Interesting. We'll leave that alone for now. So, um, freedom of speech, belief, freedom, and fear, and uh, essential. This is just a preamble, okay? So, uh, the General Assembly proclaims that the Universal Declaration of Human Rights as a common standard of achievement for all people and all nations to the end that every individual and every organ of society keeping this declaration constantly in mind shall strive by teachings and education to promote respect of these rights and freedoms and by progressive measures, national and international, to secure their universal and effective recognition and observation uh, both among the people of the members, member states themselves and among the people of territories under their jurisdiction. So basically, you can claim it and your nation is probably already part of the UN and so if they're mistreating you, once again, you can use this. All right. So Article 1, all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in the spirit of brotherhood. Okay. Two, entitling the, everyone is entitled to all rights, freedom set forth in this declaration. All. Without distinction of any kind, such as race, color, creed, orientation, language, religion, political opinion, etc., etc., etc. Further, no distinction shall be made on the basis of the political, jurisdictional, or international status of the country or territory to which the person belongs. Now, we could argue what is their definition of person because we know what that means, and usually, at least in the Admiralty maritime jurisdiction that includes businesses okay um, whether to whether it be independent trust non self-governing or under any other limitations of sovereignty okay three everyone has the right to life liberty and the and security of a person no one shall be held in slavery or servitude Slavery and the slave trade shall be prohibited in all forms, okay? So how do they do what they do to us? Well, that's a form of slavery, but they call it a federalized state employee, okay? Or the control over you by means of you having utilization of their entity. So that's why we stop using the legal name. 
All right, everyone has the right to recognition everywhere as a person before law. All are equal before the law and are entitled without discrimination to equal protections of the law. All are entitled to equal protections against any discrimination, any violation of this declaration and against any incitement of such discrimination. Okay, everyone has the right to effective remedy by the competent national tribunals for acting acts violating the fundamental rights granted by him by the Constitution or by law. No one shall be subject to arbitrary arrest, detention, or exile. Everyone is titled, entitled to full equality to a fair and public hearing by an independent and impartial trans, tra, uh, tribunal in the determination of his rights and obligations and of any criminal charges against him. Okay? So, yes. So, there even the UN is saying that these lower levels who are unfairly doing these things and trampling over your rights, that's a no-no. Okay? But when you agree to them because you don't know your rights, and actually, by law, if you're a true national of the United States and a guest of the United States or a dignitary or diplomat, such as myself, you're really not even supposed to go into these lower courts. Those are private. You're waiving your rights to be there. Those are for 14th Amendment U.S. citizens or persons, which are still corporations. All of them are getting to know your straw man, business trust, public transmitting utility. Bling. All right, so everyone charged with a penal offense has the right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty according to the law in a public trial at which he, trial, okay, he has had all the guarantees necessary for his defense. So they don't do on the lower courts. Okay, no one shall be held guilty of any penal offense on account of any act or omission which did not constitute a penal offense under national or international law but they do it all the time. Nor shall a heavier penalty be imposed than the one that was applicable at the time of penalty was committed. No one shall be subject to arbitrary interferences with his privacy, family, home. Your home is private, but they tax you on it, and then they don't want to let you get off the tax rolls. Okay, we're gonna be bringing some more stuff about that stuff coming soon. Everyone has the right to the protection of the law against such interferences or attacks. Everyone has the right, uh, right to freedom of movement and residence within the borders of each state. There you go. All right. Everyone has the right to leave any country, including his own, and to return to his country. So do we really need their passport? No, they want us to have it and that's fine. We use it for our reasons. Um, yeah, we'll go into that in another video, all right? So Article 14, everyone has the right to seek and to enjoy in other countries asylum from persecution. This right may not be invoked in the case of prosecutions generally arising from non-political non crimes or from acts contrary to the purpose and principle of the United Nation. Everyone has the right to nationality. So stop using that you're white. Stop using that you're black or brown. Those are not nationality. Those are colors. Colors are devoid of life and they have no rights and no freedoms. They are things that are owned. If they can name you, they can own you. Article 16. Men and women of full age, age of the majority, okay, with without any limitations due to race, nationality, or religion, have the right to marry and to be and to found a family. They are entitled to equal rights as to marriage, during marriage, and a dissolution. So you should be able to do this on your own and get rid of cancel it if that's what you're done with. That's why you don't need the state. We already talked about creating your own marriage. Uh, affidavit and getting it notarized and binding yourselves by uh, creating that contract which is what you're doing with the state anyway except for you're inviting them into your marriage marriage the com combination of your two business trusts your straw man the corporation that you're merging 
Yeah. All right. The family is the natural and fundamental group of society and is entitled to protection by society and the state. Marriage shall be entered into only with the free and full consent of the both parties or all parties. You want to get married to three people, four or whatever else, you can do it. Just you got to write it up. Everyone has the right to own property alone as well as in association with others. No one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his property. They're depriving you of your property if they won't let you have your car free, your house free, or whatever else. What are they providing you in return for you paying these things? Okay. Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, consciousness, religion, and the right to change your mind and worship, whatever. Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion, expression, and, and to impart from those things. Article 20. Everyone has the right to freedom of peace, peaceful assembly, and association. They're telling you you can't meet or do something in public areas. No, that's why they're public areas. They're all Unless you're committing a crime, then they can stop you for the crime, but they can't stop you from being in a public area. You've paid for them. They're yours. <laughs> they're shared. All right? It's not private property. You can't be on someone else's private property. You can be on yours, and you can be on anything marked as public. It's part of the republic. It's yours. Police officers only have the jurisdiction over a 14th Amendment U.S. citizen or a business entity, if you will. Okay? Not you and your natural status, as long as you're not hurting or depriving anybody of their rights or hurting another 14th Amendment U.S. citizen or even another national. So under public safety, they can intervene, but only so much. No one may be compelled to belong to an association like a political party, like a 14th, being forcing them, you to be a federalized state employee, 14th Amendment, okay? Those political parties, they can't force you to be a part of them. Everyone has the right to take part in the government of his country directly or through chosen representatives. Everyone has the right to equal access to public services in this country. They have to provide them. We're paying taxes and we have our SESTA-K trust that they're pulling money out of so we have access to them. You can't deny me something that I'm putting my money into. You're, you're take, you're, I'm putting money in and you're taking money from us, double dipping, and then you're going to tell me I can't use it or I have to do what you say? Aren't I your boss? The creation cannot be more powerful than, than the creator. We are the creators. Okay? The will of the people shall be on the basis of the authority of the government. This shall be ex expressed in periodic and genuine elections, which shall be universal, equal, and shall be held uh, by secret vote or by equivalent free voting procedures. Everyone, uh, everyone as, as a member of society has the right to social security and its entitlement realization through the national effect and international cooperation in accordance with the organization resources of each state, blah, blah, blah. Article 23, everyone has the right to work, to free, free choice of employment under favorable conditions, favorable conditions, and to protect against unemployment. Everyone without any discrimination has the right to equal pay for equal work. Everyone who works has the right to just and favorable remunerations ensuring that himself and his family have an existence worthy of a human, a worthy of human dignity, supplemented, if necessary, by other means of social protections. Everyone has the right to form and to join trade unions for the protection of his own interest. Twenty-four. Everyone has the right to rest and leisure, including reasonable limitations of working working hours, periodic holidays with pay. Okay, a couple more. We got 30 to go to, and we're at uh, 25. All right, bear with me. Everyone has the right to a standard of living adequate for the health and well being of himself and family, including food and clothing, housing, medical, social services if needed, right to security in the event of unemployment, sickness, disability, widowhood, old age, lack of livelihood, and circumstances beyond his control. 
Motherhood and childhood are entitled to special care and assistance. All children, whether born in or out of wedlock, shall enjoy the same social protections. Everyone has the right to education. Education shall be directed to the full development of the human personality and to the strengthening of respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms. Parents have a, now we could argue the definition of parents, uh, have a prior right to choose the kind of education that, uh, that shall be given to their child. So they can't tell you this is what you have to have. But if you accept the public standard uh, manipulated and controlled information because you're accepting that benefit, then you're going to be subject to. Now, you can't argue certain things, but they'll say, okay, then you can remove them from there. But they can't force your child to go to that specific thing. But they can provide a general things, including some things you may not be necessarily happy with, but then have your child removed. But then they can't say, well, your child has to take this class in order to graduate. Can't do that. All right. Everyone has the right to freely participate in the culture of life and community. Everyone has the right to protections of the moral material interest resulting from any scientific, literary, or artistic productions of which he is the author. All right, uh, 28. Everyone is entitled to social and international order in which the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration can be fully realized. 29. Everyone has a duty to the community in which alone the free and full development of his personality is possible. In the exercise of his rights and freedoms, everyone shall be subject only to such limitations as are deemed by, determined by law solely for the purpose of securing due recognition and respect for the rights and freedoms of others. So you can do basically whatever you want to do as long as it doesn't hurt another person or infringe on their rights and freedoms. Okay? These rights and freedoms in, may in no case be exercised contrary to the purpose and principles of the United Nations. And Article 30. Nothing in this declaration may be interpreted as implying for any state, group, or person any right to engage in any activity or to perform any act aimed at the destruction of any of the rights and freedoms set forth therein. All right, guys. Well, that is it. So other things you can look at on this site are um, the International Court of Justice, Convention of Rights of the Child, Declaration of Human... Well, we just went over the Declaration of Human Rights. You can look at their databases, victims of uh, certain terrorism, hate speech, Okay, so, okay, this is, looks like this is just kind of on stuff that they've done or they're into. All right, so that's basically it, guys. So if you want to find out more information, check out the un.org and find out more about those international rights that you have that you can claim and use in the various walks of your normal life. So once again, guys, don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching The Bad Wolf. I will be bringing you guys more information. And as always, if you guys see anybody using any of my materials, which I know this particular one they won't use because they can't even begin to argue with the UN. Um, but, you know, there might be one or two trolls out there. So if you see them using any of my information, report them for harassment and bullying and whatever else. Now, anybody else wants to use this or share it, that's fine. Normal, general critiquing and commentaries is just part of life, so that is what it is. But we're not going to be defamed out there. So, you guys take care of yourselves. Don't forget to check out some of the new merchandise, the show, the shirts, the hats, uh, mugs, whatever else down below. And if you need any of the services, go to blackslight32, or number32.com, and uh, check out the Bad Wolf there. We'll be bringing you guys new files, new things coming soon, so stay tuned. And we're out. Show my motto.